Today you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 25 PowerPoint interview questions and answers. For fresh and experienced candidates. Ali Aziz quality education channel providing you the job best interview related videos so don't forget the subscription button. 1. How you can set password in PowerPoint 2013. To set a password in PowerPoint. Go to file click on info. Click on protect presentation. Under which there is an option, encrypt with password, click on it. Hit OK once you enter the password. Now it will again ask to re-enter the password. OK exit. 2. How can you show your presentation online in PowerPoint 2013? To present your online presentation in PowerPoint. Click on file share present online. Select the option Enable Remote Viewers to download the presentation checkbox. Click Present Online. Send your meeting invitation to attendees by copying link or send an email. To get out of the slideshow press ESC and click on End Online Presentation to end the presentation. 3. What is the shortcut key for last action performed and to move the mouse insertion point to the next panel in PowerPoint 2013? A. Shortcut key for last action performed, F4B, shortcut key to move the mouse insertion point to the next panel, F6. 4. How you can record a slideshow in PowerPoint 2013. To record a slideshow in PowerPoint, click the slideshow tab, then locate the setup group. Click the record slideshow drop down arrow. Select either start recording from current slide or start recording from beginning. A dialog box will appear, select the desired options select and animation timings and second option is narration and laser pointer and then click on start recording option. Soon you click on start recording your presentation will open on a full screen. Perform your slideshow, when you are ready to move to the next slide, click next button represented with an arrow mark on the recording toolbar. 5. How you can create a video in PowerPoint 2013? Select the file tab. Select export and then click create a video, video export option will appear on the right. Click the drop down arrow next to computer and HD displays for the size and quality of your video. Select the option according whether you want to record narration or not. Click create video and then save the video. 6. How can you play music for the duration of your slideshow in PowerPoint 2013? Download or store music to your PC hard drive and from there upload it to PowerPoint. In the main menu on the Insert tab, click Audio and then click on Audio on my PC. Locate and double-click the music file. Click on Play in Background under Playback tab. 7. How you can use an eyedropper tool in PowerPoint 2013? To match the text color match with the slide, eyedropper function can be useful. Click inside an already created text box, with in home tab, select the font color icon in the navigation bar. In the drop down menu, click the eyedropper at the bottom. Select the eyedropper option over the part of the image you want to color and click on it. The font color will change. 8. How to merge shapes in PowerPoint 2013 To merge two shapes in PowerPoint 2013, go to a Insert tab. You will see the Shapes button, click on it. Select the shape you want. Repeat the same step again to add second shape to the slide. Select the two shapes. Go to a Format tab. Click on the small icons available and choose your options, like Union, combine, etc. Here we use option combine to merge shapes. 9. How you can copy slide master from one presentation to another in PowerPoint 2013? Open both the presentation which you want to copy and where you want to copy. In the presentation that contains the slide master that you want to copy on the view tab and click slide master. In the slide thumbnail panel, right click the slide master and then click copy. On the View tab, click Slide Master. In the Thumbnail panel, right-click the Slide Master and then do one. Click Close Master View on the Slider Master tab once done.
10, can we make PowerPoint slides into PDF files in PowerPoint 2013? To convert PowerPoint slides into PDF files select File A Export A Create PDF Slash XPS Document Click the Create PDF Slash XPS button 11. How someone can check compatibility check when you share PowerPoint 2013 slide to previous or older version. When you share or send PowerPoint slide 2013 to an older version and want to check compatibility test, go to File A Info A Check for Issues A Check Compatibility. The tool tells you which new features are not compatible with older versions. 12. How you can add services in PowerPoint 2013. To add services in PowerPoint 2013, select Account option from the File menu. A Account window will open and you will find a Connected Services section. You will see in this section that the list of services is added for PowerPoint. Within Add a Service drop-down menu, you will find options like Images and Videos, Flickr, YouTube, Storage, 365 SharePoint, OneDrive, and Sharing, Facebook, Twitter. Once you click the Connect button, it will ask for your mail address and once connected to service click on Done button. 13. How you can convert text to shapes in PowerPoint 2013. To convert text into shapes. On your slide insert a text box and type some text. Select the text box on a slide. Insert a shape that overlaps your text box in a way that covers it completely. Once the rectangle shape is placed, reorder the rectangle shape by sending it behind the existing text box. Select the text box first and then select the rectangle shape, after that access the drawing tools format and click the merge shapes button. Under merge shapes drop down gallery, click on intersect option. It will convert text into shapes. To ensure the text is converted into shape, right click on the text and a context menu will appear you will see the edit point option. If no edit points option is available, it means your text has not been converted into a shape. When you click on edit points option, you will see all the edit points on text. 14. How to use PowerPoint 2013 slide zoom feature? To use PowerPoint 2013 slide zoom. Beneath the main slide, click on the magnifying glass icon in presenter view. Hover around the area of the slide you want to magnify. Click and drag the hand tool over the slide to move the slide around while still zoomed in. To zoom back out click the magnifying glass icon. 15. How to customize your slide PowerPoint 2013 To customize your slide, first open a new PowerPoint slide. Choose a theme from design menu. Once you have selected the slide theme then you can change the look of a slide by clicking on Variant. To change the color of slide you can use Customize option, this option gives various option to customize slide to your liking. You can also customize the text box by clicking on the text and it will give text customization option. 16. How you can use Document Inspector and what is the role of it in PowerPoint presentation? The Document Inspector function can be used to remove certain personal information which may be added to the file automatically. Click on File tab under Backstage View. From the Info panel, click Check for Issues, then select Inspect Document from the drop-down menu. The Document Inspector will appear. Check or uncheck the boxes, depending upon the content you want to review, then click Inspect. For any potentially sensitive data the inspection result will show exclamation mark and a remove all button to remove the sensitive data. 17. How you can protect your presentation in PowerPoint 2013? To protect your presentation in PowerPoint 2013, click the File to Backstage view. In Info panel, click the Protect Presentation command. In drop-down menu, choose the option that best suits your needs. Let's say if you mark it as final a pop-up box will appear asking you to save document as final. When you click OK another pop-up box appear confirming the document is saved as final. 18. How you can insert online video in PowerPoint 2013? To insert online video in PowerPoint. 
Go to A Insert. At the end of Insert menu, you see an option video, click on it. Click on Online Video, and you can upload video. You can upload video from Facebook account, by clicking on the Facebook icon. 19. How you can trim video in PowerPoint 2013. To work on specific part of video or to delete some part of video, PowerPoint gives trim option, the playback tab has several options which you can use to edit your video. Select the video you want to trim and click the playback tab on the ribbon. Click the command trim video. A dialog box will appear, to set the start time use the green handle and to set the end time use the red handle. To preview the video, click the play button. When you are done trimming the video, click OK. 20. How you can add bookmark to the video in PowerPoint 2013. To add bookmark to the video. To locate the desired part of the videos click on the timeline. Click the add bookmark command from the playback tab. On timeline, bookmark will appear, click the bookmark to jump to that location. 21. How you can customize slide layout. To customize slide layout. Navigate to slide master view. Locate and select the desired layout in the left navigation panel. Over each layout you can hover the mouse to see which slides are currently using that layout in presentation. The background graphics may be hidden in some layouts, to show this graphic uncheck the box next to hide background graphics. You can also add, remove, or delete any objects as desired. When you finish click on close master view command on the slide master tab. 22. How you can rehearse the slideshow timing in PowerPoint 2013? To set or rehearse the slideshow. Select the slideshow tab and then locate the setup group. Click the rehearse timing icon on ribbon and it will take you to the full screen of your presentation. You can start rehearsing your PowerPoint presentation, and your presentation timing will be noted down by rehearsing time. Click on next arrow on the recording toolbar to move to the next slide. At the end of your presentation, PowerPoint will close the full screen view and give the total timing for the presentation at the end. 23. How to change effects start option? To change the effects start option. From the animation pane, select an effect. A drop down arrow will appear next to the effect. Click the drop down arrow, there will be three option that will appear. Start on click. It will start the effect when mouse is clicked start with previous, it will start the effect at the same time as the previous start after previous, it will start the effect when the previous effects ends. 24. How you can embed a chart from Excel to PowerPoint. To embed a chart from Excel to PowerPoint. Go to Insert tab. In the text group click the object command. A dialog box will pop up, select create from file and then click on browse. Select your Excel file and then click on Insert. Check the box next to Link to File if you would like to link the data to the Excel chart. This will update your chart automatically whenever the changes are made to the Excel chart. Click OK and the chart will appear in presentation. 25. How you can record a slideshow. Record a slideshow option is similar to rehearse time function but more comprehensive. You can include narration for your presentation by using record a slideshow. In main menu, click the slideshow tab and locate the setup group. Click the record slideshow from the drop down. Now can select either of the options start recording from beginning or start recording from current slide. A checkbox will appear asking slide and animation timing and narration and laser points. If you have checkbox the option click on start recording. When you finish recording first slide you can move to record next slide by clicking on next button on the recording toolbar in the top left corner or use the right arrow key.